After one of the worst genocides in human history, the Jewish survivors of the Holocaust emerged from the ashes forever changed. Then, in 1948, their homeland was finally returned to them, yet that was not the end of their story. Today, many of these heroes are still living a life of survival, forgotten by much of the world. But you can help change that. With your love gift, you'll be partnering with Daystar to build the House of Hope, a haven for elderly Holocaust survivors. As a thank you gift, you'll receive the Daystar original program, Holocaust Horror to Hope. In this two disc DVD set, you will see historic footage and hear stories of hope and encouragement from survivors, scholars, and many more. Honor the sacrifice and courage of these brave men and women. Call today and say, I want to help Holocaust survivors. Okay, well, I want the camera to follow me. This is live television. And if you're on the phone or if you're on your computer, then we're going to include you in this. And this has been a wonderful day. I know you've enjoyed Pastor Robert Morris's teaching. It's just been so outstanding. I love this uh, new Israel set. That is just so very, very neat. And just for fun, let's show of the live camera feed from our Daystar studio there in Jerusalem. And let's just see what Jerusalem is looking like. It's still uh, dark there. In fact, it's early, early morning and the sun is going to be rising in just a moment. And our sweet Rebecca is here. She's a pretty thing. My prayer was, Lord, send me a little Joni Lynn. Yeah. And that's what I got. Look at those. Get a camera shot of just those two right there. And Becca's got hey, a headset Daddy. on because she's working you may be, today. You may be pushing it a little too far today, but here, no, here we go. <laughs> look at there. Yeah. That's two pretty brown-eyed girls right there. <laughs> Pastor Robert, thank you so much for uh, being here today. You have blessed us. And Moshe, before he prays, I understand you have something that you wanted to present. I don't even know what it is, but they informed me, so I, I do want to give you that opportunity. Marcus, I want to share with you something that I feel is being given to you on behalf of the 180,000 Holocaust survivors. We cannot save them all. But the fact that you and Johnny have stepped forward and decided to make something about it, I'm sure the thousands will be saved. So if you allow me, I would give it to Johnny and we'll explain. You know, Johnny, while you open it, I thought that it would be profound for you in this year, you have been selected to help both children sick with cancer and Holocaust survivors in one year, Steve. Yes. And what could be more profound in Jewish history and roots than the cycle of life? It's not only that you step forward and said, we are going to help children sick with cancer, but you ended up 2012 with historical statement that in the cycle of life, you will be helping towards the end of life. Wow. That is covering you, I think, with the most profound blessing for the Jews, which is the Birkata Kohanim, the, the blessing of the priest. So I thought it would be nice of me to give you on behalf of the survivors for the most profound givers, you are really deserve the most profound blessing. You. And you know that I love you from the bottom of my heart, mm -hmm. but I want really to be an ambassador on behalf of all of these survivors that now are having a chance for hope. And thank you very much. Thank you so much, Moshe. I love this, and of course, it's, um, it says the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift Wonderful. up his countenance on you, you and give you peace. And that's number 6, 24 through now, 26. Johnny, if you would push the button, you would hear a Jewish rabbi blessing oh you in goodness. Hebrew. Okay. Let me put it here close to my microphone. Amen, amen. Oh, wow. So Steve was over there saying, push the button. I'm like, <laughs> what, what button? button? 
<laughs> See, it's right there. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, that is just. So, honey, we oh, can just. Wow. I can just go in your office and if I want to. I'll say, hear Johnny, the blessing, push the button. I'll push I the need button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that. my it's gracious. Beautiful. Pastor Robert Morris, thank you so much. I know that there's so many demands and constraints on your time. People love you all over the world and you are so giving of your time, your talent, and your gifts. And for you to take time out of your busy schedule and come and share today with our beloved viewers means so much to Joni and me personally, and I know to the staff and to all of the Daystar partners. So I would ask you if you would at this time, however you feel led to lead us in this prayer of blessing all these people. And we're gonna believe even for those who will watch this later because you say, well, why do you replay things? Because we are in all 24 time zones of the earth. And there's a lot of people right now that are asleep. So we have to replay this later when they are awake in other parts of the earth. So that's why we do that. But if you'll just pray as you feel that or whatever comment you want to share. Well, uh, let me just say, Marcus and Joni, uh, as you say, we all have busy schedules, all of us do. But uh, when you talk about we want to do something for Israel. That touches my heart. And uh, so I'm here because of the two of you and what you want to do, but I'm also here for people watching because I really want you to live under the blessing of God. For your family, your marriage, your children, your health, everything. And I know that when we bless Israel, that God blesses us. And we've seen that so demonstrated in our own life at Gateway Church, at Daystar, and so that's why uh, I'm just very, very grateful for all of these that have called, for all of you have called. And so I want to pray over you. And then uh, at the end of the prayer, I thought that I would just pray that prayer, number six, which oh. is that the Jewish blessing, the blessing that God gave Moses and Aaron and said, in this way, you bless my people. Wow. And uh, so let's just pray, Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, okay. Lord, for every person that said tonight, I want to bless Israel. I want to stand with Israel. I want to bless what God is blessing. Lord, I pray for them right Thank now. You. I pray for every need Thank that's you. represented, Lord, Amen. the physical needs, Thank Lord, you, the emotional needs, yes. Lord, the marital needs and the family needs, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, for the financial needs. God, we thank you that you not only open the windows of heaven over us, but God, almost more importantly probably, is you rebuke the devourer for our sakes. Yes, oh God. And so, Lord, we pray that right now for every person that called and, and gave to Israel, that you will rebuke the devourer, Lord, that you will open the windows of heaven. And then you also said, and that all nations will call you blessed. Amen. So, Lord, we thank you for that blessing. And, Lord, I just want to speak Thanks. now this scripture that you said, in this way you Thanks. bless the children of Israel. And Lord, we know according to Romans, we have been now grafted in. And God, before I can even do this, I, I've got to pray for Israel, for the peace yes, yes, of yes. Jerusalem. Yes. Amen. Yes. Lord, men cannot do it. We've seen it over and over again. Amen. But Lord, we come together right now and we ask you for the peace of Jerusalem. Yes, and we bless Israel. And Lord, for every person now that's given, I say the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance on you and give you peace. In the name of Yeshua, the Messiah. Amen and amen. Amen. Well, we love you. We're going to take a break. Our prayer partners will be standing by live during the break. When we come back, they'll be standing by live as well. More good ministry, preaching, teaching, singing, sharing. There's an address. I would encourage you to go ahead and send in what you can of your pledge. I will eventually get a letter to you, a pledge acknowledgement letter. But don't wait on that because that'll take a while. Thousands of people calling in pledges. But uh, just remember, as I've said so many times, the sooner you get your seed into the ground, the sooner a harvest will come. Joni and I say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We love you, and we'll be back with more great ministry in just a moment, so don't change that dial. Amen.